Hello there and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me Cy Pitway. Today on the show me and David are going to show you the results of a little bit of a experiment uh, that I've been doing over the last few weeks uh, and it's looking at the new Yukon Photon XT model and this is the 4.6 to 42mm version. Uh, just wanted to see what the difference is from the older models and as I'll go on later on I'll explain uh, why uh, I wanted to see the differences from the older model. But so here we have the Yukon Photon 46 by 42 millimeter uh, XT model mounted on my Brocock Compato and, and as this is going to be uh, more of a field review uh, I'm going to skip quickly over the characteristics uh, and I'm more interested in showing you uh, what it's capable of so quickly then you'll notice uh, here is a piece of rubber you can pull it out and in here you can any HDR, so digital video recording unit uh, to record what you shoot. Uh, here you'll see there's a wheel, it goes left and right, and there's a push button, it also goes in and out. This here is the blanking plate, there's nothing on there, and on here is your IR illuminator. You've got your focus wheel here, uh, and on top, which I'll just hand on the camera here, you can see where the batteries go, uh, and it's just two AA batteries as you can see fits in there to turn on the unit uh, you press once on here uh, and then again for the IR for the first intense uh, intensity again for the second and again for the third then press and hold it and it turns the unit off at the back you can see it comes with a rubber eyepiece I personally take that off most of the time because I find that uh, I get a better picture or it feels more comfortable on this rifle without that on and to take it off it's just simple you just pull it off like that and on here you'll see this twist this is your ocular lens and it focuses the reticle inside you see it's a 30 mil tube so I've got 30 mil high mounts on there uh, and you can see there's a little bit of clearance between the barrel on the compato uh, and the unit Obviously looking at the front now and the lens uh, and as I said there's the focus wheel you can turn it but what I have noticed uh, to really get a sharp round picture of your quarry's eye so they're in focus what I've done is bought a basically it's just a scope cap flip up cover and I've glued it together uh, and then drilled a 16mm hole in it and I fit that on there and having that on there uh, allows you to really focus your uh, sight picture on the quarry's eyes really good and sharp so the unit itself comes in a box and inside the box you get this nice black canvas bag uh, and inside there you'll get the lead uh, what you, you can use to plug into the unit if you have a mini DVR and you want to record what you're shooting and also there's a lens cap with a tiny hole in the front what you screw onto the front of the uh, objective lens of the unit if you want to use it to zero in the daytime or you could use it to shoot with in the daytime but for me predominantly I'm going to be using it at night now the footage you will see through this is going to be recorded on this unit here and this is called a Lawmate PV1000 it's quite an expensive bit of equipment and I think about two years ago we paid £580 for this uh, I think they're now near on £700 for this model uh, and this records full HD uh, through the unit so the footage you will see uh, will be what it looks like actually uh, through the unit itself now you might look at other reviews of this on YouTube and on various other sites uh, and the footage might not look as crisp and that's not to do with this is a special unit for me it's not at all uh, it's more to do with the fact that we're, we're actually filming through an HD unit so you get in uh, to see what the actual shooter sees now this unit is not mine, uh, it's been lent to me uh, by a guy called Joe from Thomas Jacks uh, via Sandal Field Sports and the only reason I'm, I've got it is because I noticed it in the shop a few weeks ago that the XT model has come out and uh, my brother-in-law Scott used to have the older model uh, which impressed me when I saw 
uh, and used it a few years ago so I just wanted to see, I was interested to see if, what the differences were between the older model and the XT model uh, so this is more for me a little bit of a um, an experiment uh, and to see uh, how, how the actual unit performs out in the field This is me looking over my back fence to the neighbours which is about 35 metres away and you can see the picture is good enough to use in the daytime if you wanted to record and shoot but in black and white. We're going to take a look at the reticle now and I'm going to go into the menu mode. Uh, I'm in the menu mode now and you see the top one is to select the reticle and there's six different reticles you can pick. I'm just scrolling through them now. you see they're all different uh, now I'll go back to the one which I like the best which is number two and then we're going to go down now and I'm going to show you how to change the colour so the colour selector is the middle you can go red, green or white depending what you like I like red uh, and then down to the bottom is the one shot zero you can move left or right on the X or Y or move you up and down uh, and it's really simple to zero you just read the instructions so we're going to take a look at the IR, the onboard, uh, and this is at 49 yards in pitch black. So this is on level 1, switching up to level 2, and then to level 3. But if you want the best picture quality, you buy a T20 for £30 from eBay, uh, and this is the sort of quality you get, and this is on low as well. So now we're going to go inside with the lights on, and this is one of the pig pens. The rifle's not loaded as I've put. Uh, you can see the picture quality is easily good enough uh, to use uh, and shoot in them conditions. Uh, it's probably around about quarter to seven now uh, and I've arrived at the uh, pig farm permission. Uh, and you can see I've got my trusty Brocock Compato here. So as we go on now, yeah, the more observant ones who are watching this will see that there is no actually audio on the photon itself so the actual shot noise I've edited in uh, from a recording of the Compato like that this shot was a mistake on my behalf I didn't mean to pull the trigger because the rat moved forward but I ended up luckily getting a heart and lung shot This is a good demonstration of the focus at close range. You'll see I was giving this hold over because this rat was probably only around about 9 or 10 meters maximum. But you can see with even with a T20 turned down low it's a nice crisp picture. This rat basically was uh, thinking it was safe. You can see it was just peeking its eyes. Uh, but it makes a mistake of moving forward a bit too much. Uh, and the accuracy of the Compato uh, coupled up with the quality of the photon and you'll see I'll just take this rat quite cleanly just a few kicks there with nerves uh, and then he was dead this is another excellent demonstration of the focus uh, and the picture quality on the photon this is round about on my first zero uh, which is around about 12 or 13 meters and you can see that rat falls down lovely we're outside here down the side of one of the 45 yard pig sheds and you can see this rat just give me enough of the back of its head for me to get a nice clean shot and turn him over. Now well, there's a big rat. Shot nicely rested uh, against the fence so I'm happy with that. I caught this culprit actually leaning in and stealing food from the pig feeders itself. Now you can see there's other rats poking their eyes out the wall and also running down the right hand side of the wall. Uh, you see that one there. And then I go over to the left and there's either a juvenile rat or a mouse. And I thought, well, while I'm cocked, I might as well uh, have a shot. Uh, focus it, get the eyes nice and focused, and then take this shot and turn that one over with a Bisley Magnum. At this stage, I went into one of the barns where the farmer keeps some of his machinery and I find a gaggle of rats quite a few of them as you can see hiding underneath some polystyrene sheets so I thought while I'm there it'd be rude not to uh, shoot a few for the farmer so you see this one got a nice clean humane shot to the head 
couple was running around and wouldn't stay still but then that one poked his head out which was a big mistake and he got hit with a magnum This rat's around about 28 metres on my primary zero and I shoot and hit him and hear the impact but he doesn't fall out. I then find him later in the actual gully. This shot here I'm just taking using the onboard IR and it's on its third intensity level which is plenty of light for shooting rats as you can see. Now this rat's really close at probably around about 5 metres and I made a mistake here, I left the T20 on it, even on low, uh, it was too much power. I was close but it was a big rat. Luckily here, yeah, I was all focused up for closer. <laughs> I'm back in the barn again, uh, looking at the polystyrene uh, sheets and you can see look, that rat there, just popped its eye out and that's all I needed, uh, the compatto did the job. What I've noticed is the camera focuses to different light levels and you can see my IR is mainly on the left hand side but when I move over to the right then the camera changes and the picture gets a lot sharper. <laughs> That's quite a good shot down the side of the 45 uh, meter, sorry 45 yard uh, pig barn. <laughs> There's another one look. I don't know if you can make it out, but that's the rat there, it's just that there's a lot of slurry down the side, it's like a drain and they seem to be feeding it and that's uh, it's his tail there, look, that's another one. This is one of my favourite shots of the night, that rat's just sitting perfect filming and you can see I get him with a beautiful head shot, there's a slight pause and then he rolls over dead. Oop. There we go. Nice big rat there. Right, I've come into the indoor barn because obviously there's lights in here and I've come off night shot. Uh, and I've picked up as many of the rats as I could actually find. But there's probably more. That's a monster, that one. Look at that. Couple of juveniles there. So at that time now where I give my final thoughts on my time using the uh, Photon and to be honest I've really enjoyed using it especially coupled with the Brocock Compatto I think it's made an excellent ratting combination. Now uh, I know that there is another model as well which is a 6.5 I believe by 50mm so you get a little bit more magnification uh, and a bigger objective lens uh, and they do that and I think it's around about the same price uh, so if you're shooting FAC air rifle or 17 HMR or you know something like a center fire and shooting foxes then there is that option for you uh, and it will give you that little bit more magnification uh, talking about price I think in Sandwell Field Sports if, if I remember rightly they're around about £399 uh, and they're also on the Thomas Jacks website I think around about the same price something like 399 or 399.95 or something like that but affordable for somebody who wants to uh, move on from lamp shooting and try night vision it's something to look at what I will give you is a tip on the batteries I started off by using really cheap pound shot batteries uh, and when you're using the IR illuminator to scan for the rats before you obviously shoot them uh, there, it was only lasting probably an hour, an hour and a half maximum I then went on to Duracells and I got about two, two and a half hours using the IR constantly with them but after reading on the air, air gun forums and the night vision forums and some photography forums, uh, a name what kept coming up was these batteries here. And these are from Panasonic and they're called Eneluc Pros. Uh, rechargeable at 2,500 milliamp. Uh, and the good thing about them, it says after one year, they're still guaranteed to retain 85% of the charge. Uh, when they come to you, they're already uh, fully charged, so you can use them straight out of the packet. And I think you can recharge them, it says something like a thousand times, where other batteries, sometimes they only guarantee 
uh, 500 times. So these will be something I'll be trying in the future. Now, while I've still got this on loan, uh, me and Davey will be getting out together and doing some more episodes. We'll be shooting together. Uh, so over the year, you'll see definitely some more of the uh, Compato and the Photon. Uh, and you'll be seeing definitely a lot more from me and Davey. So from me and Davey, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been something different. Stay tuned and look out for future productions of Vermin Hunters TV. Thank you. Bye.